Hey everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is Max Prime. Uh, today I'm going to discuss the Raspberry Pi 4. That's right, I got a Raspberry Pi 4, a brand new one with 8 gigs. That's right, it has 8 gigs of RAM. And I got the new Ice Tower uh, fan cooling system. And I wanted to show you how it actually works and how it runs because I actually already pre-installed it, hooked it up. Um, and just to show you how I have the LED fan uh, working and running. And we also have Twister OS. And I'll get more into Twister OS in a little bit. Now, I want to discuss the actual case that I got with the Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig is the ice uh, tower uh, case that I bought off of Etsy um, from a very cool Etsy seller who made this uh, 3D print uh, for the ice tower. Uh, fan so it could fit in there. Awesome case actually has SD card slot in the back and everything. I love this case. It works so well and it glows in the dark and it's also translucent so you can actually see the LED fans running. Um, and I'll put the link in the description to the actual Etsy seller. Um, I think I bought the last one but um, uh, you guys can definitely see if he makes more uh, because this is awesome and look how it lights up with the LEDs. I know like the camera can't capture it because of the LED neon lights but um, yeah, this thing is awesome. It uh, has dual fans in it, runs smooth, um, and the temperatures have stayed low. I mean, like around like 33 to 31 degrees Celsius, which is awesome. And just overall loving the Raspberry Pi uh, 4 8 gig version because um, it totally, it is, I love it. Just completely love it. Um, another thing about the Twister OS, because we're going to get right into that. I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to get Twister OS as well as the patch. Um, and uh, one like there's a uh, basically there's I'll put a link in the description also how to uh, flash it to an SD card and uh, when you put the SD card in with Twister OS it boots right up but I just wanted to show you like how it looks exactly like Windows as you see I'm like scrolling through looking at like Office uh, Libre uh, Libre Office um, I love the Windows side of things uh, Nighthawk 2 uh, as they called it which uh, you know there's Retro Pi there in the back um, the, I like the File Explorer system because that looks awesome as also it looks exactly Exactly like Windows and then I'm going to show you how I switch over to the Mac side because that's what the whole twister point of twister OS is you can actually switch to the Mac uh, the Mac OS uh, style and it's going to ask you if I want to switch and the terminal window pops up and um, I'm going to hit enter here and then we're going to switch over to the Mac side of things and you can see the Catalina is already showing up um, the Raspberry Pi is going to reboot and you're going to see the you know the Mac side of things but again, I'm going to put all the links in the description because, again, yeah, this video is really just showing you, um, you know, my Ice Tower fan, uh, the actual case that I bought from Etsy, um, and Twister OS that I installed on the Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig version. That's right. This is the 8 gig version of the Raspberry Pi 4. And you see how it boots up. It boots up just like a normal Raspberry Pi would. Um, and it's like, oh, there's the Raspberry Pi again. Um, but it, it, the boot up process, uh, as soon as it gets to the operating system, it seems to run smooth with the 8 gigs. Like I said, I, I opened up three or four applications at once trying to see if I can make a thing overheat, having the dual fan set up, and it would not overheat. Also, I noticed the memory usage stayed low, like, you know, out of the, you know, the eight gigs of RAM, like it's not eating up any like memory. I mean, unless I'm doing maybe some hard video processing, if I like install DaVinci uh, sooner or later, but I had about like four or five different programs running and it runs smooth for a desktop. I mean, like this literally can be a desktop. And there you go. There's Catalina, uh, the Mac OS side of Twister OS. And, and it looks great. I mean, everything looks good. And uh, I'm going to test just like opening up Chrome or running Chromium. Um, just to see if like YouTube will play and um, I pulled up I'm gonna pull up my favorite youtuber that's right ETA prime shout out to ETA prime for all his videos but yeah like everything works great on the Raspberry Pi 4 I'm um, like I said in this video I'll put the links in the description to everything that I possibly purchased to make this thing run and operate and then like all the tutorials and how to set up everything all right guys I'm out 